Let's continue uh, looking at third declension nouns. And what we're going to do is basically a, uh, an extension of what we did in the last lesson. That is, we're looking at nouns whose stems end in tau, delta, or theta. So you'll remember that the neuter soma, somatos, was one of these nouns. Because, remember, we get the stem by looking at the genitive singular, dropping off the os, to get the stem. So we're going to get nouns like hey, el pis, tes, el pidos, where our stem is el pid, and we're going to add our standard endings. So nothing in the nominative, genitive os, dative e, accusative singular a, and in the plural, es, on, sin, with a movable noun and os. Remember, if you, if you remember back to somatos, the only trick here, other than finding what the stem is, is that the dative singular, this sigma, is going to eat the tau delta or theta. So our dative for, dative plural for soma was somasin, where the sigma Ate the, ate the towel. So let's look at some examples. We get lampas. I apologize for the misspellings here. Uh, it means lamp. You'll notice it's feminine. The stem should be lampados. There's pi in there. So, hey, lampas, taste lampados. There's our stem, lampad, lampadi, lampada, o lampas. Right? Remember that in many, many cases, the vocative is the same as the nominative. Plural lampades, ton lampadon, genitive, pi missing there, tais lampasi, ah, there's our dative plural, the trick that the delta has been eaten by the sigma, tas lampadas, o lampades. Vocative again, the same as the nominative. Alright, so we have our endings, nothing, os, e, a, plural, es, on, sin, as. And we just need our stem. Let's look at another example. Hothes. Uh, one thing to remember about lampas and, and your standard nouns is that the accent is persistent. So the accent is going to try and stay on this alpha as much as possible. It's not going to, or, or the rule is that if it's monosyllabic in the nominative, face has only one syllable, and this means surf, somebody who's tied to the land, is that in the genitive and dative singular and plural, the accent will be on the last syllable, but in the accusative, nominative, uh, and accusative, it will be on the first syllable. So, face, thetos, there's our stem, thet, with our ending, os, theti, theta, thetes, accent goes back on the first syllable, theton, accent on the last syllable, it's Circumflex because own is long. They see accent, and there's a movable new there if we want. And thetas. So again, the dative plural, the tau in the stem has been eaten by the sigma. So thing to keep in mind here: the same rule that in the dative plural, the sigma eats the tau, and that in monosyllabic nouns. The accent is going to be on the genitive and dative, uh, on the last syllable in the genitive and dative, but on the first syllable in all the other cases. That's the standard. There is a small exception to this, and that's with the monosyllabic whole pice, meaning child. And this can actually be masculine or feminine, depending on the gender of the child. So whole pice is monosyllabic, stem paid. We get that from the genitive, pidos. The accent is on the genitive on the last syllable, on the last syllable, so hopais, to pidos, to pidi. Accusative tone pida. Right? The singular is perfectly regular, exactly what you'd expect, just like face, thetis. In the plural, hopides, that's fine. Tone pidon, here's the exception. The accent is going to be on the iota, not on the omega, as you'd expect. That's just an exception for this noun. Choice Pisces, right there, look at the, 
that delta has been eaten by the sigma, but otherwise it's what you'd expect, and tus pi dos, plural accusative, what you'd expect. So pis, pi dos, pi di, pi da. Pi des, pi don, pi si, pi das. So in this, the only exception, the only irregularity, is going to be this genitive uh, plural, and it's just because of the accent. That's the only exception. And let's look at one other exception. It's a very minor one, but important. Uh, and you see it uh, in nouns that end in is or us. Right? So nouns that end in is or us, that's the first thing to look for. So like eris here, meaning strife. Very important for Greek cosmogony, uh, Greek mythology. Hey, eris, so ends in is. And the second thing is that the accent is not on the is or us. Right? So like eris here, it's on the epsilon. So that follows these two rules. So hey, eris, tes eridos, there's our stem, there's our ending. Te eridi, and here's the exception. The accusative singular is going to end in new. There are times in Homer where, you're, where you will see the alpha, you'll see what you would expect, but in Attic Greek, this is the standard. So, tain erin, so there's our exception, o eris, plural, hi erides, ton eridon, just as you'd expect, the accent is to move forward because omega is long, tais erisin, Right, just as you'd expect, the delta, has, uh, the sigma has eaten the delta, and tas eridas. So there aren't that many uh, real exceptions to watch for with nouns that whose stems end in tau, delta, or theta. Uh, the main one is that, the, or the main thing to keep in mind is that the dative plural, this scene, will eat the stem vowel, or the stem consonant vowel. Otherwise, your accents are pretty consistent, and you have this small group of nouns whose accusative singular ends in new.